I have some interesting news for you. Tesla and Pacific Gas and Electric invited 25,000 customers to create the world's largest distributed battery to support grid reliability, the utility announced that. We knew about this partnership in June when the two companies announced they were working together to launch a virtual power plant. It's called VPP. That's a special program. Now, by the way, isn't this the same state that wanted to tax the solar at a rate higher than what you can be paid? Anyway, the program allows homeowners with a Tesla Powerwall to send electricity to the grid when needed. You need to have a Tesla Powerwall for this. The VPP pilot program has now been launched already and some people can already apply. Now, PG&E Emergency Load Reduction Program, that's how it's called. By enrolling and um, combining residential power wall systems into a VPP, virtual power plant, that will send power back to the grid when needed. Tesla is now participating in the Utilities Emergency Load Reduction Program. That's what I say. Customers who are participating will also be uh, compensated. The ELRP, the per program, is a five-year pilot program that offers PG&E customers financial incentives to reduce their energy usage during grid stress or emergencies. The goal is to avoid rotating uh, outages and minimize costs to customers. Now, how the PG&E Tesla VPP program will work? Here are some details that we know, friends. The utility noted that it will call load management events for participating customers. Next, it will direct their batteries to discharge when there is a high demand for electricity between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. from May through October. PG&E customers who have Tesla Powerwalls that are participating will receive $2 for every incremental kilowatt hour of electricity discharged during an event. $2 for every uh, kilowatt hour. PG&E and Tesla have made statements. So PG&E's Vice President Business Development and Customer Engagement, Aaron August, and Tesla's Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering, Drew Baglino, both shared statements about the VPP launch. August highlighted the value of VPP as a great supporting resource. Here's what he said. VPPs are valuable resource um, for supporting grid reliability and an essential part of California's clean energy future. Our customers' home batteries uh, offer a unique resource that can positively contribute to our state's electric grid and will become more significant as our customers continue to adopt clean energy technology. In collaborating with Tesla, we are further integrating behind the meter battery-based VPPs on the largest scale yet, helping to make customer um, resiliency technologies more accessible and continuing a long tradition at PG&E of actively integrating VPP resources into our energy supply portfolio. Now, Baglino of Tesla added that this helps Tesla achieve its mission of accelerating the transition of sustainable energy. Here's what Baglino said, friends. Baglino said, enabling Powerwall customers to support the grid and their community is a necessary and important part of accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. We seek to partner with utilities and regulators everywhere to unlock the full potential of storage to bring more renewable, resilient, and less costly electricity to everyone. Who should take notes? Texas PUC, ERCOT should take notes. Why? Tesla is also working with Texas Public Utility Commission, PUC, and the Electric Reliability Council of Tesla at uh, Texas uh, to support the state grid. The Texas grid is now connected to any of the national grid networks. This makes it vulnerable to the devastating effects of climate change and natural disasters, concludes Tesla Radi in his coverage of this topic. Now, working with Tesla could strengthen this weakness. Currently, Tesla Powerwall owners in Texas are unable to send power uh, back to the grid, unlike California. Tesla is working to change that and progress is ongoing. Hopefully, the PUC and ERCOT will see the value Tesla is bringing to the state. Tomorrow, the PUC will hold a VPP workshop. This was something that the commission said was prompted by Tesla. So maybe Tesla already has something going on. 
actually as tesla already has something going on in california they uh, want to prompt the same thing in texas and who knows this may be available in other countries uh, does that mean uh, more people will be interested to buy powerwall uh, from tesla or from other companies because they may see a value in this uh, that can even help them to earn some money what do you think let me know friends this is armin harian from talknews.com i'm back after three weeks of trip in armenia on a mission trip in armenia have a great day god bless you everyone subscribe to our channel and i'll see you soon in our next tesla story i plan to do several tesla stories today so stay with us have a great day